This is the X5 MD1 wireless MIDI system, Bluetooth MIDI adapter that I just received. And it has two parts. Uh, there's one part that plugs into the MIDI out on your computer, and the other one plugs into the MIDI, uh, not computer, controller, sorry. And the other one plugs into the MIDI in port and connects to this one. If you're only using MIDI out, you don't need this part. Um, you connect it to your controller, as I have here, and then uh, make sure Bluetooth is on. Uh, here I'm connecting it to a Mac. Uh, make sure Bluetooth is on. And then you wanna go to an app called Audio MIDI Setup. And I just go into Spotlight here and type Audio MIDI Setup and double click that. And you'll get this window with the audio devices. What you want is this uh, stu MIDI Studio window. Uh, if it's not showing up automatically, just go to Window and choose uh, Show uh, MIDI Studio. Here it says Hide because mine's already showing. Uh, once you're there and you have Bluetooth on, uh, you click this Bluetooth icon here on the toolbar and you'll get another window here which will find um, all the Bluetooth MIDI devices, in this case the X5MD1, uh, and then just click Connect here. Let me show you here. Click connect and it will connect and then that's that's it you're good to go uh, i have um a logic file open here and have keyscape connected to uh and that, that's, there you go and then we're we're, we're rolling <laughs> you'll see that it's sending the midi it blinks when i when i hit the keys and the important thing here is that there's very, very low latency. So when you hit a key, there's no delay from that message being sent to the MacBook. And if there is any delay, um, I can't, I can't perceive it. Pretty good. So we can play something here with the Bluetooth MIDI. All right. My phone doesn't fall. Okay. Again, this is the X5 Bluetooth MIDI adapter, and I'll leave a link in the description below. But it seems to work pretty good and pretty simple. Hope this helped.